Hello, yes, uh, one more uh, video for today. Uh, this is the uh, commercial bank. Uh, welcome back uh, for the equity check. Uh, this is Shark. Uh, uh, don't be afraid, um, I have uh, put here the pitchfork uh, just to uh, identify where the supports that could come in. Uh, as you see, uh, uh, I have a standard set of uh, uh, indicators uh, which are uh, MACD uh, uh, and uh, RSI. Uh, apart from that, I use the other uh, 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 indicators uh, mainly to identify the reversals and, and that's it. Uh, so uh, these are to, uh, to uh, back up my uh, 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 convictions on the uh, the share price or the the movement or the direction or the future direction uh, um, uh, to map them uh, so that you know uh, we have a strategy in plan. So it's very important uh, that we we look at the financials, uh, we look at the uh, future outlook. Uh, uh, so we need to assess them. Uh, and of course to buy at the best price and not always that our uh, price would stay the same uh, when it comes for uh, 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 trading uh, in, in the market. So we need to have few uh, backup plans as well uh, uh, in case uh, the price that we paid uh, started declining uh, after. Uh, then uh, we need to uh, have a, a strategy to uh, rectify uh, and to back up as uh, these are short term uh, volatilities. Uh, now based on that um, I have a few scenarios here. Uh, if you look at this uh, here the opportunities are have a look at this this uh, I'm, uh, I want you to concentrate on the RSI movement have a look this hit the below 30s when the price was around 42 okay so when the price was 42 it it hit the uh, the oversold uh, band and and still it continued it continued Till around 20 so that's a 50% hit on your portfolio so well I did not check what was the fun, uh, the, the financial results during this period but if you were a technical trader have a look at it it was 42 and it hit a 50% of your portfolio let's say you have filled with the uh, commercial bank shares and uh, how you would have how you would have uh, experienced this impact uh, of your portfolio coming down at least by 50% or close to that. Now, what happened thereafter? What happened thereafter is fantastic. Have a look. Had you sold this one, and this is this is where the 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 uh, the fundamental uh, shares that you own. And the uh, the, the non-fundamental uh, shares, uh, or we call them as the speculative kind of shares. So, isn't it much safer to uh, invest in quality shares such as Colombo Commercials? Look at this; it hit the bottom around 20s, and then it moved up to where it was. 150 and then it moved up to 180 so all these uh, uh, corrections or pullbacks these are temporary uh, so it, the the people are sometimes uh, I mean I yesterday uh, I wrote saying that the market is it's not correct sometimes so we need to understand this point as well uh, we were thinking the market is always yes it it reflects on the future but sometimes you come to a point where you identify the market is not correct so this is this is the phase that we are going right now look at this uh, Colombo commercials is around 130 so I have drawn up 
the pitchfork to identify the resistance at the supports to say where it would see a 100% correction from this point to here. Now, it will be excellent for me, it would be excellent for me if I can buy 100, uh, a commercial bank at 100. Why? You have a, a good support around 100. So that would be excellent. And on top of that, look at this here. Now, why I, I, I brought up this issue from the past, look, it was 40 and it was, it was here, it was in the 40s and then, and it went, at that time it was in the oversold as well and yet it went further down, went for an extreme, extreme, mind you, this is a weekly chart I'm looking at, okay, so, uh, it was indicating, it was giving three by indications and later on it happened. So, have a look at here as well. It hit the oversold around 115. From 115, it went further 15 rupees down. Okay, so it went down by 15 rupees. And let us have a look here. Yes, it is 140 and it has gone gone down to 130 so it has gone down around like 10 rupees so i'm expecting this to further go down and it would be it would be it would be awesome to uh, own a Colombo commercial bank uh, at 100 seeing that this has already uh, touched the 190 so that would be a great uh, opportunity uh, for as a, a future investment so uh, this is why I, 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 I wanted to uh, pull out this chart uh, uh, commercial bank and to draw up the uh, uh, the pitchfork as indication as well so now I'm going to remove this one so now we have a strategy strategy in place sorry for that uh, uh, strategy in place now we buy around these levels between 100 and let's say 130 so you have uh, an opportunity to uh, have a strategy let's say you want to buy it right now and then if it further goes down you can buy at 100 so one would can ask why you want to buy at 130 if you are certain that 100 would be the best price as a support but you never know you never know how the market could react so so if you want to uh, position yourself you can always go with minimum three lots uh, for this one we can buy a small quantity just to own for the sake uh, at 130 and then we can go around uh, uh, another level uh, between 100 and 130 and then we can go with a final buy around 100 so that should be where uh, we should be uh, looking at it now to help my uh, strategy uh, what I would be looking at is another tool uh, I will put I will put here the Fibonacci just laid here on the chart yes have a look at the correction look at the oversold here and where it reach and it reach around one at the 38.2 reversal uh, now this is this is one okay now let us have a look okay let us have a look at the next Fibonacci tool which I'm going to draw up from the low point here I'm sorry uh, sorry the video is taking a bit longer but just wanted to uh, give you all the uh, technical uh, 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 intricacies here to identify now have a look at it isn't this great have a look the correction or the pullback is at the 61.8 okay and this is around it has already broken so when it was hitting the it when it was crossing 30s in the on the RSI the price was at 150 there we would have identified an opportunity but now a person who would have gone through this strategy should have bought around here because uh, uh, the prices the prices is around uh, 150s 
should have bought it and now he is uh, looking at it uh, it's going further down now that that's where another strategy could come now the people who bought at 150s could very well think of another opportunity uh, around 135 to to 120 so uh, these two levels they could start averaging a bit uh, for an opportunity now so you have here let's say it's the 120 so the people who bought around 150s could very well look around 125 and and the final buying around the 100% correction which we saw it uh, uh, which gave the uh, opportunity on the on the pitchfork so we have a hundred we have a 125 and to uh, go in so this is how the buy uh, strategy for uh, Colombo commercials should be looked at it so that's it uh, from me uh, sorry for taking uh, uh, too long on the video uh, but uh, I think I have covered most of my points. I hope uh, my friends uh, uh, in, in uh, uh, who uh, uh, in the equity check would get this message. Uh, what I'm trying to stress here, and hopefully uh, we could be in for a very good time uh, uh, from a long-term perspective. So until uh, I see you again, uh, Shark signing off.